this has some intrigue to it. Um, right now, Dwayne Wade is a free agent. He's asking apparently for at least twenty million for Miami. I don't know whether he's seeking a one-year deal, but I'm assuming he's seeking like a one-year deal at least worth twenty to twenty-five million. I don't think that Pat Riley, or Miami Heat for that matter, will want to pay Wade quite that much um, at this stage in his career. Um, they just re-signed uh, Hassan Whiteside. who looks like he's starting to become more of the focus, focal point of his franchise. Wade is still very valuable, but, you know, Wade's getting up there. Um, and Miami has some interest in uh, free agent Kevin Durant, who's really the, the jewel of this free agency this year. Um, I don't think that Miami's going to sign him. Uh, and Miami has to also not lose focus of Wade. But it is intriguing to think about the fact that you have Cleveland, all right? Cleveland just lost Timothy Mozgov in free agency to the Los Angeles Lakers. J.R. Smith is a free agent. Uh, J.R. Smith is frustrating to me because I find him a very low IQ basketball player. I liked him when he first came to the league because he didn't just sit behind the three-point line and just bomb away. You know, he actually had some sort of a game, you know what I'm saying? Like, he did penetrate, you know, he did shoot mid-range jumpers at one point in time in his career. Yes, as hard as I believe, he actually did just shoot mid-range jumpers and drive to the basket. Penetrate. But now he's become a three-point bomber, which I guess will extend his career, but... You know, but it's a, t it's a possibility Jeff Smith may not resign. Maybe. He might. I think, I, I'm thinking he probably will, but he may not. So if, he, if they don't, if he doesn't resign with the Cleveland Cavaliers, then they definitely need a shooting guard. Uh, even if he does resign, it would be intriguing to see the reunion of LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, who, of course, partnered together to win two titles in Miami. Uh, together, Wade already has three titles. And now LeBron, after this, uh, after Game Seven of the Finals, now himself also has three titles. So it could be intriguing to see these guys try to go for a fourth title all together. Three titles uh, as a as a tandem. Um, it, it's it's interesting. Um, me personally, I think Wade. Right now, if I if I were a betting man. I'd say it's about 60-40 that he resigns with Miami. Um, I don't know if, if Cleveland can afford. Maybe they can. You know, I'm not very privy, too privy on how much money they have to spend on a particular player right now. Um, but it's interesting. Um, I think it's about 60% chance he signs, he signs with Miami. But, at this stage of his career, I'm assuming that Wade is more interested in winning titles. He's 34 years old. He's really worn up, banged up. Uh, he's almost getting to the point where he can become almost a part-time starter. What I mean by that is, in certain games he starts, in some games he may start coming off the bench or share time with another guy, maybe like a J.R. Smith. Uh, to extend his career. Uh, I think last year he averaged something like 19 points a game. Shot pretty good. Uh, not particularly well from three, I don't think, until the postseason. But, uh, yeah. It's intriguing. It's interesting. Maybe he will, maybe he will sign with Cleveland. I don't know. But tell me what you guys think.